Hello and welcome to this video. I will now show how Brandy Jersey skirt is sewn. You can find the pattern for the skirt in my Etsy shop. I will show you the address here, but of course you will also find a direct link to the pattern with further information under this video. The jersey skirt is high-waisted and about knee-length, with slits on both sides. At the top it is tight-fitting, downwards it is more straight. So a very classic and timeless basic skirt that can be combined in many ways. Here you can see the cut pieces. The main part is cut twice on the fold. After cutting the pieces, transfer all the notches and also put a notch in the middle of the crease at the top. You need the waistband once, transfer the notches there as well. It may be a good idea to mark the appropriate lines for your size here, so as not to get confused, this also applies to the elastic guide. You can then cut your elastic band to the desired size according to the elastic guide. Since the skirt has a slit at the bottom on both sides, we must first neaten the four sides of the main parts individually. On this occasion, you can also close your waistband into a ring. Put the two short sides right sides together. Of course, an overlock is best for these steps, but you can also choose a comparable stitch on the normal sewing machine. Now put the two main parts right sides together and pin the sides with pins up to the second notch from the bottom. Until there, the slit will go later. I place these two notches exactly on top of each other and stick the pin there diagonally. So the side a foot width apart, so close to the overlock seam. When you have covered a little over half the distance, you can slowly start increasing the seam allowance to 1 cm. When you have reached the diagonal needle, the distance to the edge should be 1 cm. At the end, lock the seam. Slide the skirt over your ironing board and iron the seam allowances apart. You can place the part at the hip in the curve of the ironing board. Iron the slit in shape and fix it with a few pins. Iron the waistband in shape. Place it over the opening of the ironing board as well. First iron the seam in one direction. Then fold the waistband left sides together in the middle and iron the crease all around once. Now the waistband and skirt come together. Put the seam from the waistband to a side seam. When the skirt is turned right side out like here, you can put the waistband around the top edge once from the outside. The notches then come on top of each other and are pinned. All open edges point up in the same direction. So the waistband and skirt together with the overlock, always stretching the waistband so that it lies exactly on the edge of the skirt. Very important, we still need a gap for the elastic here, so leave about 3 to 4 centimeters open. Iron this seam into shape so that the overlock seam faces down on the inside. Use an elastic threader or a safety pin to push your elastic band all the way through the waistband. Lay the ends together and secure them with a pin. So the elastic around the width of a presser foot with a normal straight stitch. Unfold the sides flat and sew the seam again with a wide zigzag stitch. In this way, the elastic stays flat in the waistband and is also double stitched to hold it in place. And since you are already sitting at the sewing machine, you can do one more step there and sew the slits in place. I actually do it with a completely normal stitch, since the skirt is not overly stressed at this point. So a presser foot width to a few stitches above the slit, Turn the skirt 90 degrees, the presser foot should now line up exactly with the slit. Then sew exactly to the seam, counting the stitches. For example, 3. Then sew 3 stitches after the seam as well. Turn the skirt 90 degrees again and sew the slit to the end. Repeat these steps for the other side. It goes back to the overlock to close the opening from the elastic. Sew this point in as smooth a transition as possible and then pull the thread ends through the seam with a larger needle. The last thing we do is take care of the hem. Iron the hem 2 cm inwards. I do this with a handy ironing ruler. 
I make sure that the overlock seam disappears in the hem and that the folded hem cannot be seen from the outside on the edge. And then pin the hem from the outside. So the hem in place with the twin needle. So that the seam at the back definitely sews the fabric, you can stick to something under 2 cm. If you do not want to sew with the twin needle, you could also bind off the hem and then sew it with a normal stitch or fold a centimeter twice and then sew it with a straight stitch or stretchable straight stitch. At the end and at the beginning, lock stitch with a few stitches as always. Your jersey skirt brandy is finished. I hope you enjoyed the instructions and your skirt turned out well. Make sure to also take a look at the other sewing projects that I have created to match the skirt. For example, the Foxy Tank Top and Haiti Raglan Shirt. You can sew both in either a long or a short version. With this you can either sew a very figure-hugging or a very casual, modern outfit yourself. If you have sewn Jersey Skirt Brandy and want to show it on Instagram, feel free to tag me in your picture with DIY mode patterns. I regularly share the most beautiful works from the DIY mode community there. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and leave me some love with a thumbs up or a comment. I am looking forward to seeing you with my next video again, until then I wish you all the best.